We'll move on now. The UN is warning that a hunger crisis in Madagascar is on the verge of becoming the world's first famine caused by climate change. Four years of drought in southern Madagascar have left some communities in level five catastrophe conditions. But while similar crises in places like Yemen, Somalia and Ethiopia have been blamed on conflict, the situation on the giant southern African island is being linked by experts in part to global warming. Our Africa correspondent Andrew Harding reports. In the pale, dry hills of southern Madagascar, a hungry family sits in the dust. We eat insects now, says Tamaria, a mother of four, holding a few dried locusts in a bowl. But we have no water to clean them, she says, and no rain to harvest what we've sown in the fields. And so the grimly familiar scenes of listless children with desperately thin arms and distended stomachs. We scavenge for cactus leaves, says Bole. That's all we do now. Her husband died of hunger, so did a neighbour, who left her with two more children to feed. It's not much better in the towns. So many children start to beg in the street of Fort Dauphin that asking for small money, for small change, to buy food. Tina Endor runs a small charitable organisation, SEED. The worst drought in 40 years has left Madagascar reeling. In the past, we know when the rain will come, when people start to grow crops and when the harvesting time will be. But now at this time, the four season of the year is not known. When you go at the market, you see less and less. Things is disappearing off from the market. This region has endured droughts before, but this one is different. In fact, it may be unique. The United Nations is now warning that Madagascar is on the brink of the world's first climate change famine. Hundreds of thousands of lives are at risk in Madagascar, and it's the first time we're seeing people at risk on the verge of starvation because of climate change. Shelley Thackrell works for the UN's World Food Programme. These are famine-like conditions, and they've been driven by climate, not conflict. And these people have done nothing to contribute to climate change. They don't burn fossil fuels. They are the most innocent communities, and yet they are bearing the brunt of climate change. Some help is arriving now in remote villages like this one, but not enough not after four years without rain. No wonder the experts are sounding so worried. I'm Ernestina Barmalala. I'm a climate scientist based at the University of Cape Town, the Department of Oceanography, and uh, I'm originally from Madagascar. If climate change continues, uh, we do expect to have more drought and more agricultural drought and ecological drought uh, over the country. So when we see these pictures of children starving when we hear reports of the hunger in southern Madagascar. In a way, this is a direct warning signal about climate change. Uh, I would say yes, it's, it's really part of it. I'm sitting here looking uh, on my computer at this atmospheric demand data for southern Madagascar. And it's Other basically... climate scientists are now studying the data closely. At Santa Barbara University in California, Chris Funk says the authorities in Madagascar need to take bold action. Madagascar receives a, a lot of water. You know, there's lots that we can do to improve water management. We can often forecast when there is going to be above normal rains and farmers can use that information to increase their crop production. There's lots of stuff that can be, that can be done. We're not powerless in the face of climate change. But speed is key. In southern Madagascar, a sense of desperation is taking hold. When I tried to grow a cassava this year, it was a storm. Lomba Hasoavana has been camping in his field at night, trying to protect his crops from thieves, but it's become too dangerous. You could risk your life if you do that. It's too dangerous to do that as well. I find it scary for the future. And so from a remote corner of an isolated island, an alarming precedent as climate change pushes Madagascar towards famine.